you want to support this channel and help different charities and different causes like the Melodic Caring Project and the Planned Parenthood Project, then all you have to do is basically head to the top of the description, you'll find an affiliate link. All you have to do is head to that link, download Streamlabs OBS and install it, log in and you got yourself the best streaming application used by Ninja and all of the famous streamers for absolutely free with actually helping charities and different causes. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to stream with a super low upload speed. As you can see my upload speed is 0.77 megabits which is which is considered very very low so before we get into today's video please be sure to leave a like rate and also be sure to hit that subscribe button as i'm on my way to 1200 subscribers and all help is appreciated and with that being said let's get right into the tutorial okay so all you have to do now is open up streamlabs obs nevertheless let's get right into the tutorial okay so the first thing that you have to do is basically go to the top right corner of your screen and basically click this gear button right here in the Streamlabs OBS application. All you have to do is go to output now and go with the output mode and actually select the advanced option. Make sure the enforced stream service encoder settings and the rescale output are both disabled. After that go with the rate control of CBR which is current bitrate. After selecting CBR this little space where you can actually type numbers should actually pop up and what you want what you should type right here is basically your bitrate. How do you get your bitrate you might be asking. All you have to do is get your upload speed, copy it, go, go to your calculator basically, paste it and multiply that by 1000 as it, and as you can see that is your bitrate is your upload speed multiplied by a thousand and as you can see I just have to open up my settings tab again and as you could see 770 is my bitrate after that check use custom buffer size and this and this other space where you can actually type in numbers should actually pop up and your buffer size should be your peak internet speed which was for me 0 0.89 and multiply that by 1000 as you could see and that's my buffer size if your upload speed if your like peak upload speed was 1 megabit all you have to do is just type in 1 times 1000 as you can see and it's 1000 and that's my buffer size i just typed it in and as with the keyframe intervals i just go and keep that an auto because that's the best thing now for the cpu usage preset i really recommend keeping it on fast i don't care which cpu you have just keep it on fast now we are done with the output tab all you have to do now is move on to the video tab um basically your canvas resolution should be your monitor resolution and as for your scale resolution if you have an internet speed below one megabit just keep it on 480p and as for the downscale filter keep it on bilinear and for the fps type i'll just keep it on common fps values and 30 fps with that being said move on to advanced Go to your priority, keep it on above normal as you can see and as for the video format I keep it on NV12, as for the UV color space I just keep it on 7, 709 and for the UV color range keep it on full because it will give you the best colors ever. As for the stream delay I just go with 20 seconds so it really minimizes the lag your stream gets. And with that being said, these are the best OBS settings. If you guys have any questions, then be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I hope I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video. Also, why not subscribe? I'm on my way to 1,200 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>